Hola a todos! Um, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the five languages that I know how to speak. Um, of course, varying to varying degrees of fluency. And also because it is the 30th of August as I make this video. And in the Philippines, the month of August is the month of languages because the Philippines has a lot of different languages from different regions and on the different islands. So, yes. And to start off, the two official languages of the Philippines is Filipino and English. Um, I did not know that English was an official language until recently, but that makes sense because a lot of the official documents are all in English, the newspaper is in English, uh, major news channels are in English, um, the medium of instruction is English, um, I, went, I went to college, everything was in English, and um, yes, so English is the, one of the official languages of the Philippines. And I did not know, or I think I guess I did know, but um, Spanish used to be an official language and I think they stopped teaching it in the 80s so my parents still understand Spanish but they don't speak it and I remember that my grandmother she could write in Spanish because she studied that in school when she was young so yeah it would have been fun if we had like English and Filipino and at the same time Spanish because learning more languages is fun. I mean, knowing how to speak a lot of languages is fun. I know that because it has helped me a lot um, in the past and it also has helped me gain a lot of friends as well. So, okay, going back to the five languages that I know. So obviously there's English and then there's Filipino and Filipino is not Tagalog because people always think that Filipino is Tagalog, but Tagalog is a different language that is spoken in the northern part of the Philippines and is the original form of Tagalog. And Filipino is merely, I think, derived from Tagalog because we use a lot of Tagalog words, but it has Spanish, um, Chinese, and English words mixed into it to create the Filipino modern Tagalog language. Um, but I'm not a linguist, so I might be wrong with what I'm saying, but I am sure about the, mm, the structure of Filipino, but I'm sure that Tagalog is definitely not Filipino. Um, it's its own f language, okay? So English, Filipino, and my parents who grew up in a different place, uh, who grew up in Cebu, um, one of the um, southern um, regions of the Philippines, so they speak Cebuano, and I was also taught um, Mandarin Chinese in school, because I went to a Chinese school, and at the same time, I also can speak Hokkien or Minanhua, or the Chinese language that is being spoken by a lot of the places in the southern region of China, including Taiwan, um, Chinese in the Philippines, um, I think also the Chinese in Malaysia, I think, so, and Indonesia, I think. So those are the five languages that I know. So what is it to be, a, um, I mean, um, how do I use these languages every day? So obviously English is some th the language that I am most comfortable with because simply because I have I know more things I am, my, the vocabulary of my, the English language is greater compared to all the other languages that I know because I read in English I watch Netflix in English um, YouTube in English um, Yes, I don't watch local TV shows that are in Filipino because I have a hard time understanding it in my brain. <laughs> and I think it has something to do with the material that is being shown. It's just not interesting to me. So sadly, um, I only use Filipino to talk to the people at work and my friends. So. Based so, I mean, my vocabulary in English is really much, much greater than all the other languages combined. So that's English. And next is Hokkien or Minanhua. 
um, this is the language that I speak with my parents and my grandparents and people at home. So this is why I'm most, it's the second language that I am comfortable speaking in. So yes, and the third one is Cebuano, which is where a lot of my family members um, still speak because I still have a lot of family members who live in the Visayas region or uh, places where they speak Cebuano. So basically, dili ko mabiligya, kasabut ko, and yeah, I can get around Cebu um, and Cebuano speaking places um, just fine. And this is interesting as well because when I went to university and um, the people who could speak Cebuano, when they heard me speak Cebuano, they could they asked me, um, asa maka asa maka gikan or asa maka sa Cebu or something, and I said no, I grew up in Manila, but because my parents speak it at home and um, my cousins speak it at home as well, mao na makasabot ko, so there. And then Filipino, obviously, because it's the official language of the Philippines. Um, we studied in school. Um, I've always struggled with it, I think. Filipino is not an easy language, um, especially if you study it um, like academically. So, but I can speak it with my friends. And yeah. So that's Filipino. And last but not least is Mandarin. Um, I had 13 years of Mandarin in school. And sadly, I don't speak it as much as I would like because Jedi Mayoran Nung Shuo. That was bad grammar, but um, I forgot all my Mandarin after we graduated high school because simply did not have anybody to speak to. Yeah. But I wish to practice it through, I don't know, talking with my friends who's from Taiwan or something. So, and so those are the five languages that I know. And right now, I am almost on my third month of um, listening and reading and trying to acquire Portuguese because the five languages that I know are not unique to me. Um, my, f I mean, people in my family can speak five of them, understand to varying degrees of fluency, but they could still understand. <laughs> so I thought of adding another language and maybe another in maybe one or two years just because it has believe it or not portuguese has helped me gain a few friends as well um when i was tra traveling in even in southeast asia or even in europe because although i only know how to speak a few phrases uh, from like 10 years ago when i was doing capoeira but Knowing how to say um, bon dia or uh, tudo bem or um, como estás, um, they were surprised. I mean, the people that I've spoken to were surprised, like, oh, you know how to speak our language. And at the same time, I would be pleased if someone spoke the language that I can speak, but I haven't, I haven't encountered anyone who could speak Filipino who was not Filipino yet. So it's mostly me being able to speak their language. Like when I was traveling in Europe and then um, I think a Chinese, uh, two Chinese nationals were asking me like, could I take their photo? And, and I told them, um, and then I started taking their pictures. I said, of course, yes. Um, I started taking their pictures and they, said, they were so surprised like, Oh, where are you from? So I said, no, I'm from the Philippines, but I studied Mandarin in school, and my ancestors are all from China as well, but I am, first years ago, um, people immigrated to the Philippines, so uh, that whole story. And yeah, so I just think that knowing more languages is really, it's really fun if, even if, um, 
you don't get to a level that's super fluent or you can't read. Like I can't read Hokkien at all. Um, I've never I've never tried reading anything in Cebuano, but I enjoy all the. I think I enjoy all the gifts that knowing this language has given me because I use, um, I like to go to the beach a lot and then I also go diving and these places are most of the time in places where people would speak Bisaya or Cebuano. So being able to interact with the locals and the boatmen and the tour guides and the people that, the diving instructor in the language that they're used to has helped me gain more understanding and given me a different experience than other people who would only speak English with them. So, yeah. This, that's the, I think there's nothing more that I could say, but if you have like five minutes a day, ten minutes a day to learn, try to um, acquire a different language, it would really really help you a lot so that's it for my one week video hope you get anything from this video bye ciao